I seem to be interrupting. No, it's no problem. No. It's no problem. Our family's in crisis, but Kate takes priority. Well, Jerry, however I have to, you worry about your own life. Okay? Uh, I'll come back later. No, no, really, you stay, because Sonny obviously has other things on his mind besides his family. I already told you that I don't want Jerry anywhere near my children. He's their uncle. He won't hurt him. For all we know, he could grab them and use them like he's using Emily. He wants leverage against me and Jason. Jason, what do you want me to Jason who's in Pentonville, and you haven't even lifted a finger to help Jason him. Jason knew the risk he was taking when he, when he, you know, jumped bail to go after Elizabeth Bates. Oh, so you're he saying knew. Jason deserves no, to be there? No, what I'm saying is Diane's doing everything she can do right now. There's nothing we can Maybe do. Maybe you're fine without helping our best friend, but I'm not. Uh, so you... Transfer Jason back from Pentonville. On your authority? He shouldn't be there, and you know it. Jason jumped bail. He's considered a flight risk. He rescued a kidnapped baby when the PCPD failed. Again. It was a special prosecutor's call to send Jason to Pentonville. Oh, and I'm sure you opposed Scott when he decided to put Jason in maximum security. You know, Whatever. Carly, you can write and rave all you want to. It's not going to change the situation. Jason is an established flight risk, so he's going to be in a maximum security facility until the trial. Great, I want to see him. No, I'm sorry. Visitors are restricted. The only two people that are allowed to see him are his attorney and his wife. I don't think you qualify for either of those. Well, you make an exception. You get me in to see Jason, or I do what I should have done a long time ago. So... Well, Everybody, what you did to me. Locking me in the panic room while I was pregnant. Oh, well, you know, if I, if I went public with every single threat that I received from you, Sonny, and Jason, the press wouldn't be able to list them all. How long do you think you'd be DA after the people found out that you're a freak who chained me to the wall? Carly, you got no evidence, okay? And if anybody would be guilty of kidnapping you, I think it would be your late ex-husband, Lorenzo Alcazar. So as you can see, we're in an impasse here, and I have a lot of work to do, so if you don't mind... There was one witness to the panic room. Your wife at the time. Why? Because her testimony would put you in Pentonville? Can't you just see it? Elizabeth, sweet little Elizabeth on the stand, mother of two, telling everybody what you did to me in that panic room. Well, the more I talk about it, the better it sounds. Carly. Elizabeth. She's just getting her life back to normal after having a child abducted. Jason's the one who helped her. Get her baby back. I can't think of a better reason for oh, her to so want to help. This, this is how you're going to repay her, huh? By blackmailing me just because you want to go visit Jason. Maybe I should just skip the whole visiting thing and make you drop the charges on me. You know, your, there. your hero friend, Jason, is a murderer. You know what, Carly? You don't have anything on me. You want to break the panic room and make it public? Fine, you go ahead. But you do that, I'm going to see you behind bars for slander. Don't get too close, Rick. I need your help. For Jason. Whatever I can do. Look, I want to go public with what Rick did to me in the panic room, and, and, and there's no evidence, and no charges were filed, and you're the only witness, so I need you to back me up on hey, this. Wait, how is this going to help Jason? Rick hates Jason. He's going to do anything to get a conviction, Elizabeth. Carly, the police have evidence that Jason killed Alcazar. Okay, fine, but this jumping bail thing is a joke and you know it. So what are you going to do? Force Rick out as a DA and then what's going to happen? And the prosecutor's just going to take his case. Okay, well, we'll deal with that later. Jason is stuck in Pentonville and he's not allowed to see anyone but his attorney. If we put the screws to Rick, we can get him back out on bail. Or at the very least, I can get in there and see him. Threatening Rick is only going to make Jason's situation worse. in Pentonville because of you. He was rescuing Jake, which is another example of how Jason's constantly saving you. And you take full advantage of it. He is sitting alone in a jail cell. Why? Because he put everything on the line to save you and rescue your son. He does everything you ask. He goes against his heart and his happiness, Elizabeth. You don't know what you're talking about. Oh, the hell I don't. I know everything Jason's lost because of you. We agreed. It's what Jason wants, too. Carly, please, just stay out of this. What do you mean what Jason wants?
All of a sudden now, you need me so bad. Uh, I could drop dead at any time. You might love me, look like your father, but he isn't. Resign from the case. Do you realize what you put Jason through? I'm the one who was betrayed by Jason.